revoked licenses. Well, meantime, Governor Scott Walker says he's focused on his job right now. In an interview, the governor says he's not thinking about running for president in 2016. He says he's just focused on putting together the next state budget and working as governor. The governor also says he remains absolutely confident that he is not a subject of a criminal investigation involving former aides when he was Milwaukee County Executive. He said he had no knowledge of county workers doing campaign work while on the clock for their county job. His deputy chief of staff at the time, Kelly Reinfleisch, was sentenced last week. And meanwhile, the governor is taking his message out of Madison. He's going on tour to get public input on the state budget. And it's not what uh, he's saying that has some Democrats worried. Fox 6's Mike Lowe reports now from the state capitol in tonight's political lowdown. The agenda that's trumpeted versus the agenda that's whispered. What will the next two years look like in Madison? Republicans and Democrats argue over political priorities. The five priorities we have are creating jobs, um, developing our workforce, transforming our education system, uh, continuing to reform government, particularly in the ways we've dealt with waste, fraud, and abuse before, and then investing in our infrastructure, particularly in our transportation infrastructure. Governor Scott Walker says he's going to take ideas from the public on how best to achieve his top priorities. Over the next several weeks, I'll be traveling the state and meeting with people to have a discussion about these priority areas. In a YouTube video, he announced his plans for a statewide tour that will last for a month. Finally, two years into his term, he's going to actually start taking steps to start listening to some of the people of Wisconsin. But Wisconsin Democrats say his priorities are vague and that the whispers of Republicans at the Capitol hint at a right wing agenda that includes tightening abortion restrictions, eliminating same day voter registration, and downsizing Milwaukee County government. I think there's going to be a great temptation to appeal uh, to the Tea Party crowd to go and, and again try and cut off more people from voting, reduce. Uh, the size of uh, the county board, things that, that local control should, should determine, the locals should be, be able to determine themselves. Um, so my hope is he does listen to the people of Wisconsin, uh, is able to reach out to the Democrats and, and find ways to compromise. But Walker says the economic agenda he has outlined is indeed his only agenda. He views all of the other issues as secondary. In terms of other items, it doesn't mean they're not important, uh, but those, those aren't included in our priorities. And, those presumably, if they come up at all, will come up later in the legislative cycle. The next legislative session starts here in Madison in January. Reporting at the state capitol, Mike Lowe, Fox 6 News. All right, Mike, thank you.